it has been a while since I've made one of these videos and I kind of been working on it more or less so anyway here's another toy review uh, and I have a kind of a special one this time it's one of my absolute it's one of my absolute favorite Beast Wars characters Cheetor this is from the Universal line from 2008 now I will go off and say it has one of the most realistic beast modes that you have ever had but boy does this toy have some huge issues uh, I don't have its tail anymore sadly uh, I hate when I move and I lose things it happens quite frequently whenever I move something I lose something related to my transformers hopefully next time I move that won't happen uh, well, it's basically a really good it's basically a really good beast mode it's it's one of I think honestly it's the best beast mode they've ever had it looks really nice it looks really simply designed and it looks like it looks like a cheetah holy crap they actually made a cheetah that looks like a cheetah poor Cheetor has had some terrible terrible toys in the past yeah like I said I don't have the tail I just have this back part with no tail it's got this little got this little gimmick where you, there's this little button back here on its back right here you push back and boom red eyes kinda kinda something he did in the cartoon nothing really interesting though <laughs> yeah overall beast mode is pretty average it's kind of a pain in the ass to stand up though if I can get it but yeah if I were to give if I were to say anything I love the beast mode and now we get to move on to the fun part <laughs> so let's transform this bad boy so first of all this is the way I do it I bring in the arms first see and then this area up here pops out and it brings forward the arms kinda like that they click in right here we'll do that up close see they have these little pegs this little hole and it clicks right in which makes the arms bring this back in let's do the legs now the legs are actually pretty simple there's these little parts right here we push forward and that makes his torso and then you bring the legs forward like that and the legs forward like that and then this little this there's this little piece right here and it pops right up and it brings out the head now as you can see my camera can't see that high <laughs> so let me put him down real fast and do this okay, that's a little better so there we got robot mode and oh my god do I hate robot mode because it doesn't stand worth crap seriously this thing is freaking ridiculous there's absolutely no way to stand this thing up because it it genuinely is top extremely top heavy because this weird backpack thing going on here uh, it has this little gimmick right here though there's these shurikens I only have one freaking shuriken though which I hate which he holds in his hands he also could hold the whip sword thing that he actually did have but that was in his transmetal too which is kind of weird uh his face is definitely it's definitely kind of accurate to the to the tv show uh it's kind of a mix of the first two heads really uh but you know what i do have to give this cheetor praise i mean it looks a lot like Cheetor. I can tell it's Cheetor. There's some, 
there are some freaking beast mode or beast ah there's some beast wars transformers that you cannot even tell who they're supposed to be but yeah this is this is it pretty much you know he isn't a fantastic fantastic toy in my opinion it's kind of bland but he gets the job done he looks a lot like Cheetor except the head kind of pokes out really oddly and strange I, I don't get that oh well so yeah uh, overall he's not my favorite but he's not my most hated in fact next time I do this I'm gonna probably be doing my most hated transformer I have but that'll just be next time. See you guys then.